if you let people uh, develop into their own uh, their own being and, and help them in that uh, in any little way that you can because I think the business that I chose is one of the last of the great apprenticeships I love this business and uh, so, uh, so being surrounded by really people and watching them grow is the most exciting thing in the world to me and that's true who? Uh, who's that? I don't even know who that is <laughs> I don't know. I could care less. <laughs> ah, sexy. Hot. Really hot. <laughs> gorgeous. Hot. He is so gorgeous. Oh, love him. I kind of have a little crush on him. Uh, pretty sexy, yeah. The most beautiful eyes I yeah. have ever, ever seen. Thick lips. Uh, uh, <gasps> foolish, but delicious. Be honest. I don't know, I used to think he's cute, but now he's not. I loved him when I was young. I don't like him now. Well, you know, people are kind to me. They, you know, they're, they're nice. Sometimes... I believe in telling the truth, but I think sometimes it's better not to tell the truth. If you're going to, you know, God, what are you going to say? Jim, you're really sucking canal water here. Uh, hey. <laughs> um, he's kind of creepy. A creep. Crazy creep. Wild guy. I'd like to have a beer with that guy. Um, I, I, say, I just think it's bubbly. I just think it's so bubbly, I really do. Hot, smoking hot, beautiful. Uh, I don't get it. It's okay, I don't understand why everybody loves it. Weirdo. <laughs> uh, I think of uh, different color hair all the time. <laughs> uh, extremely weird. <laughs> Too old to be a tease. Um, 89. Uh, old but hot. <laughs> yeah, he's aged pretty well. I mean, for an old man, he is pretty attractive. Not gonna lie. He's pretty attractive for an old guy. Wise men say only fools rush in. I think he's an awesome singer. A great singer. He just gets greater and greater. You think with his age that he would start to come down a little bit. He just gets greater and greater. But he is good in his own right. He's quite good. He's good to look at, but, you know, when he opens his mouth, it's all over. Now, yeah. never could sing to begin with, still can't sing now. But I can't help falling in love with you. Overrated? Uh, overrated. Overrated. Definitely overrated. <laughs> Underrated. A hunk of hunk of burning love. Hell no. No, I never have. No, I never will. Because I like to stay on the ground. Definitely no. I don't like height. I don't fly. Why not? Uh, the answer would be no, no, and because I would probably soil myself on the way down. Why so, not? Kind of the whole risk reward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to risk my life. For... No. Why, Why not? Why do you think? Are you, are you scared? Uh, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Only if I had a shotgun. Hell yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Heck yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I would tighten up my seatbelt really tight, and I'd probably be like this. I want to, 
What's holding me back is I kind of have to do it on the down low and not let my wife know. But you would want to go? Basically, I mean, when you're as awesome as I am, then you'll try anything once. What, what would it be like being next to him shotgun? It would be scary, but I would buckle up and I would take that ride. I think it would be fast and I would put my hand on his leg. What do you think that would be like? I think I would vomit. <laughs> I think I would get so sick, I would drive all over myself and it would be great. Other than the ones he already has? Yeah. Uh, Harry Ape Man? I don't know. I don't know, big guy? <laughs> big guy. Biggie, that's what it'd go. Biggie, I like it. <laughs> to the point, he's big. Bozo? Stinky? Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I told him no. Ate my boogers. <laughs> Ignored him. Acted like I did it and didn't. <laughs> I uh, would usually do it, I guess. <laughs> I whined and moped and then did it. I gave him a look and then I ended up doing it. Eventually I did it. Not right away. Uh, freak out and scream and yell like that's gonna get me anywhere. <laughs> I threw my fists up in the air. My guy. You ever flip them off or get mad? Oh, or plenty of times. Oh yeah. Well, fortunately, this finger, as you see, is slightly paralyzed, so it limits my vocabulary in that kind of situation. <laughs> I can't really do it properly. <laughs> I was going to say flip them off, but I don't. <laughs> it sounds cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Without question. Um, not to put gum in people's hair. Don't wait to go to the restroom. Just go. <laughs> if you kiss the guy sitting next to you, he gives you the good crayons. I guess, I don't know, maybe learn the ABCs or something. I, I... Not to bite other kids. Don't go into radio. A oh, baller. Uh, he's the man. Beautiful classic beauty. Talent. Occasionally derailed by attitude. Stupid. Uh, egotistical. Um, married to a beautiful woman. Bigfoot. Big. Big. <laughs> Big? <laughs> big. Big? Um, big? <laughs> nice abs. Smelly? Crazy. Creepy. Scary. Um, scruffy. Big dong. <laughs> Chubby. Stupid. <sighs> Idiot. Pineapple? Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> when you get to my age, one of the, the great privileges, I think, is to take what you've learned and pass it on. That's how that apprenticeship keeps going. When they etch your name in the cornerstone of the building that we all work with, yeah, they're going to say, this person taught me something. I, I want to be that person. I want to be able to say, you know, geez, he, he did the best to pass on life's lessons so that the next person, you know, the next generation that comes along would say, yeah, this is cool. I learned good stuff. That's about it. I have two words for you, Justin. One's a noun and one's a verb. <laughs> you. <laughs> Sunday morning ever, and Sunday pass on by. I'll be working here forever, at least until.